mysteries. Welcome to story time. I hope you're going to enjoy this one as much as I am. It's called The Story of Little Babaj, based on a book by Helen Bannerman. It was written over a hundred and twenty years ago. That's a very long time. And it's about a little boy, some very dangerous tigers, and some pancakes. Let's read it and find out what happens. Once there was a little boy, and his name was Little Babash, and his mother was called Mamash, and his father was called Papash, and Mamash made him a beautiful little red coat and a beautiful pair of blue trousers, and Papash went to the bazaar and bought him a pair of purple shoes with crimson soles and crimson linings and he also bought him a beautiful little green umbrella and there is little Babaj having his photograph taken isn't he grand now one day little Babaj went for a walk in the jungle and by and by he met a tiger and this tiger said little Babaj I'm going to eat you up oh please don't eat me Mr. Tiger and I'll give you my beautiful red coat very well said the tiger I won't eat you, but you must give me your beautiful red coat. And the tiger walked out of the jungle saying, Now I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. And little Babaj carried on. And by and by, he met another tiger. And this tiger said, Little Babaj, I'm going to eat you up. Oh, please don't eat me and I'll give you my beautiful little pair of blue trousers. And the tiger said, Very well, I won't eat you, but you must give me your pair of blue trousers. And he put it on and he walked away saying, now I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. And by and by, little Babaj met a third tiger. And this tiger said, Little Babaj, I'm going to eat you up. Oh, please don't eat me. I'll give you my beautiful pair of shoes. My purple shoes with crimson soles and crimson linings. But the tiger said, huh, What use are your shoes to me? I don't have two feet. I've got four paws. Two shoes are useless. Oh, you could wear them on your ears, said little Babaj. So I could, said the tiger. And he walked away saying, Now, I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. Little Babaj is losing all his clothes. And when the fourth tiger threatened to eat him up, all he had to offer him was his little green umbrella. And the tiger said, What use is your umbrella to me? I can't carry it in my paws. I need my paws for walking with. But little Babaj said, You can tie it to your tail. Ha! So I could, said the tiger. And he walked away saying, Now 
I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. And little Babash ran away crying because the tigers had stolen all his nice clothes. And then he heard a noise, a horrible noise that sounded like grrrr. And he peeped around the tree to see what it was. And there were all the tigers fighting and disputing about which one of them was the grandest. And then they took off their fine clothes and they had a fight with each other. Which tiger children do you think is the scariest? And then they were so angry and the tigers caught hold of each other's tails and they started walking around the tree. And little Babash said, Oh, tigers, don't you want your nice clothes? And the tigers were very angry as little Babash picked up the clothes. But they would not let go of each other's tails. And little Babash put on his clothes and walked out of the jungle. And the tigers got angrier and angrier and walked faster around the tree, all the time going grrr, grrr, grrr. And they ran so fast that they were nothing but a whirling blur of running tigers until they all just melted away and there was nothing left of the tigers but a great pool of yellow butter lying on the ground and Papage when he came home from the bazaar with a big pot saw the pool of yellow butter and he said, hmm, this will be a good thing for Mamage to cook with. And he took the butter home to Mamage and she was thrilled. I will make pancakes for supper. And she got out flour and eggs and sugar and milk. And she used the beautiful yellow butter. And do you know what? When she made that stack of pancakes, they were just as yellow and brown as little tigers. And Mamaj ate 53 pancakes and, and Papage ate 84. But little Babaj ate 169 because he was so hungry. Look at his tummy. It's really full. I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I did, grade threes. So, what can we learn from this story? Little Babaj was so small and so weak, and he was faced by four fierce tigers in the forest, all of them who wanted to eat him up. But he used his brains and not only did he get his clothes back but they all had a delicious supper so it shows you that even if you are small you can still be brave and you can still outsmart the tigers in your lives wouldn't it be fun to make tiger masks at home and even tiger tails and you could act out the story. Do you remember what clothes little Babaj wore? That's right. A little red jacket, a little pair of blue trousers, purple shoes and a beautiful green umbrella. I hope you noticed the old-fashioned camera and if you remember 
I told you that this story is over 120 years old. I'd like you to guess what country you think it is set in. Not South Africa. Think very carefully. Which country has tigers? Which country has jungles? And that's all for today. Have a wonderful afternoon. See you soon. Goodbye.